My friends, how's everybody doing? Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Cheers, it's coffee time. I just made it out here to Lone Wolf Mountain. Basically got my camp set up. This is a rainy weather truck camp adventure. <laughs> it's been so rainy in fact that basically I drove here in the rain, I set up in the rain, it's pouring right now. And this is the first time that I've turned on the camera. Basically I just wanted to get everything set up while keeping everything else dry. The only thing that's wet is me. <laughs> that's about it. The forecast for today and tonight is rather simple, rain. Rain today, tonight, heavy rain, possibly thunderstorms, and I think it's supposed to get windy. We'll see about that. We have been in a holding pattern of nothing but rain for an entire week. If you saw last week's adventure, that was only a few days ago for me. I went out camping, it rained off and on during the day, rained all night. The next morning, it started raining. After I broke down camp, went home, it poured all day long. It rained over three inches. <laughs> and since that point in time, it's only continued to rain. I mentioned in that episode how much rain that we get here, roughly 102 inches per year. It's like eight and a half inches per month. It is just what it is. Because it's such a rainy day, I figured, hey, I would come out here, I would set up camp with the truck, and also I would do some testing with a tent. Back here on the hill, I've set up the Teton Sports Vista 2, which is like a quick pop-up style tent. With all of this rain falling, I figured it would be a great time to do some tent testing. Let's do a test night. Let's see if that tent is waterproof. At the same time, I'll just kick back, relax, I'll bring you all with me. We'll enjoy the sound of the rain, some good food, and hopefully a good time. As far as setting up camp here, the only thing that I've done is pitch the tarp over the truck. That way, I can stay 100% dry here. <laughs> I did have to sweep this out a little bit, and that's because it was just full of dirt. When it comes to the truck here, I love to camp in it, but at the same time, it is my work truck. This is my work truck, this is my overland truck, this is my everything vehicle, so. Anyways, there was uh, tools in here, tons of dirt, tons of mud. I did take some time to try to sweep all of that out. But yeah, folks, that's what this episode's all about. It's all about just taking it easy, enjoying the rain, watching the grass grow. Well, what's funny is that I mowed this two days ago and look how tall it is. I mentioned in last week's episode, with this part of the country of the United States, we receive so much rain. It's basically a jungle. We are classified as a rainforest here. I mean, you can imagine with that much rain, eight and a half inches per month, things just grow at a crazy rate, at a crazy rate. As a refresher, this is Lone Wolf Mountain. This is property that I own. Basically, I purchased this property, which is roughly 50 miles away from where I live, to test out gear, to test out products. I don't have a house here, nothing like that, but I do have to mow it. I do have to take care of it. With this much rain, if I didn't mow it, it would be a jungle. It would be unusable. For myself, it is lunchtime. It's almost three o'clock now. Just a simple turkey sandwich. Here we go. For dinner and breakfast tomorrow, I plan to cook, but for lunch, just a quick sandwich here. After lunch, I'll show you this setup in more detail and I'll tell you how I did this. This is very, very simple. It took no time at all. And check this out, I have a ton of space, also a ton of protection. I can stay dry even if it's super windy. This is how I like to go about setting up my vehicle in rainy environments. Let's take a look here at this tarp. So this is the AquaQuest tarp, and as you can see, this thing is huge. I mean, it is huge. I've set this up over the back of the truck so the back of the truck and myself stays dry. I've staked this out and I've used elephant poles. Elephant poles? Green elephant poles. These are very good, excellent quality. The only con to these is that they will fill with water. With this setup here, I do have a video on how to do this. So make sure to check that out if you have any questions. Again, this is super, super simple. Offers great protection. Keeps the back of the truck completely dry. It is excellent for wet weather camping. While it's not raining too hard at the moment, and I have these Max Track knockoffs out of the truck here, 
We might as well talk about these for a second. You all may remember I used these back in the winter. I got stuck in roughly like a foot and a half of snow or something like that. I had to use these to get out. I got out because of these. But in doing so, these things shattered. It was a one and done sort of deal. Luckily, I didn't pay much, but I think I could have gotten better quality. While busted, I think there's another use in these. Maybe another one or two getting stuck situations. Ah, that's how it goes. I just heard a tree come down. I can't say exactly where it was. It's over here somewhere. I don't know if that's going to be on my property or on the uh, farmland that joins mine. The camera actually should have recorded that sound. The mic wasn't faced that direction, but you might be able to still hear it. I just turned on the camera to set up for a shot. So, rain is on the way. We do have time to go take a look real quick. So let's grab the GoPro and let's head out there real fast. Let's do this real quick. The radar shows a big line of heavy rain and storms coming this way, and it should be here probably in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's moving fast. So far, I do not see anything, or at least nothing that I recognize as being new. Hmm. It is so dark <laughs> here in the forest. Everyone, I've looked and I don't see it. That was a shot in the dark. <laughs> when you live in a climate that's this wet, any sort of tree that's dead is going to rot and it's going to fall down. The forest is now so green, so thick, the tree that just fell could be right over there and I just don't see it. Let's get back to the truck because it is about to begin pouring. Well, the rain has started just in time. I'm almost back to the truck. <laughs> it's raining now. This is an interesting product. This is a light strip from the hammock company known as Haven Hammock. It's a USB powered light. Because it's a light strip, there's numerous ways that you can go about setting this up. You can just hang it, you can string it up. You really can do whatever you want to. It may not look dark enough to justify a light like this at this time, but it is. The camera does a good job of making things lighter, but it is in fact quite dark. As you all can hear, it's raining, but it's not super, super heavy.
a couple of adventures back, I drank some, was it Dosakis? I think it was Dosakis, I don't remember exactly. Either way, a viewer wrote in and said that I should try this beer. Pacifico. Imported beer brewed in Mexico. I never heard of it, but I went out and found some. So let's give it a shot. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. It's not bad. It tastes just like Budweiser. <laughs> I can't tell a difference at all, actually. That's not a bad thing. I don't mind Budweiser, but I've always considered it to be like headache beer. If you're going to get a headache, it's gonna be from Budweiser. Or at least, that was my experience when I was younger. Back when I used to party, I haven't partied in a long time. All in all though, it's pretty good. Check this out everyone. You see all of those flower buds? Those are all blackberries. Those are all blackberry bushes. As you can see here, I have an umbrella. This is from Z-Pax. This is so incredibly lightweight. A viewer recommended or suggested that I should take a look at this. So, here I am. I went out, I purchased one. So far, so good. Insanely lightweight. The way that you can attach this to your backpack is pretty smart. You can attach it to your backpack so you can hike and you can have this on here giving you protection. It's pretty interesting. This is what's for dinner, everyone. Kimchi style noodle soup. We have noodles, carrots, bok choy, red bell peppers, and some sort of sauce. I have to say it smells great. Let's see about taste. So let's give this a shot here. I wish I had a better fork with me, but I don't. I have this spoon spork thing. I don't think the uh, fork side's going to work very good for this. It's okay, so let's give this a shot. Mm. That is good. Actually, that is really good. I added some chicken to it to give it that protein. Oh yeah. It's impossible to eat this without slurping. <laughs> Sorry about that. As you all can hear, it's still raining. There was a quick little break there. I went and checked on the tent and it has not leaked so far. 
I'll tell you what, Teton Sports has been impressing me this year. So far with my testing, their tents have been bulletproof, no leaking, no problems, nothing to report. Their sleeping pads are also very good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Talking about the weather for a second, the winds have begun really picking up, at times getting very gusty. The good thing is, is that the tent stakes that I've used, they're huge. So what I could do is uh, get my ax out and hammer those tent stakes super, super deep into the ground. I might just do that actually. As I'm sitting here having dinner, I'm thinking about a friend of mine. He was telling me about a recent like overland trip that he was on. He headed out west and had a very interesting experience. He said he was in Utah, right? Out on some BML land, out in the middle of nowhere. So he was out on some road, he found a place to camp, it was late at night. So he said about two o'clock in the morning, he woke up because he heard a truck coming in, right? He says the vehicle passes him, goes down the road, turns around in the middle of the road, right? Comes back and parks directly in front of his truck. The guy in the truck is like revving his engine. So my buddy, he gets dressed, gets his shoes on, hops out. And as soon as he does that, the guy in the truck, or whoever's in the truck, pops it in reverse and like backs up in a hurry. Backs up to the point where like he's too far away for my buddy to go talk to this guy. My buddy said he was getting pretty creeped out, which is completely understandable. More than anything, it sounds like the guy was just messing with my friend. My friend, he's someone who carries and conceals. So he decided that it was the best move to hop in the truck and take off. When you carry and conceal, it's your responsibility to like de-escalate, to basically get out of the situation at hand, if at all possible. That was a very smart move on his part. Totally get it. It's the responsible thing to do if you're going to carry and conceal. From there, my buddy hops in his truck, reverses it, turns around, heads back the way he came. And he said like after five minutes, that truck was like right on his tail. Basically he rode his all the way out that BML land. Eventually he came out into a highway and he was able to go to town where the guy diverted and took off. How bizarre is that? People are so weird, aren't they? So weird. While traveling across the country, I can't say I've ever had any experiences like that. You hear stuff like that happening all the time though. That's not like an uncommon story. Have you had any experiences like that? If so, comment down below. As you all can hear, heavy rain has arrived. It is absolutely pouring right now. <laughs> Luckily, the winds have calmed down somewhat, so that's a good thing. As I mentioned before, it's been raining all week, so there is no such thing as dry anything here. So there's no fire or nothing like that tonight. Really, all that I could do is just kick back and listen to the rain. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
This is perfect. As far as the time goes, it's about 9 o'clock. There's not much to do because it's just raining away out there. Figured it's time to get ready for bed. I'll kick back, watch a movie, listen to the rain tonight. <laughs> Grab a pillow out of my sleep kit. <laughs> Take a look at this thing. This is the Russian military Ratnik sleeping bag. raining all right. It's almost 11 o'clock. I've been watching the movie Hot Shots. That movie is so incredibly funny. I haven't seen that since I was a kid. It has continued to rain all night long, just pouring, just coming down. The entire area is under a flood watch, and it sounds like heavier rain will be coming in later on tonight, going into the morning, so we'll see what happens. I am interested to see whether or not that tent leaks because there was one point in time where the rain was coming down so hard. I don't know. If it made it through that rain event, it can make it through any rain event. I think the tent is going to be waterproof. We'll check it out tomorrow. As for inside of the truck, it's very comfortable. It is chilling down outside, so I went ahead and closed everything up. But yeah, feels good in here. It's been a good evening. I'm going to uh, get back to the movie. Just wanted to update you all. I don't know if there will be any more updates tonight. If not, see you in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Slept in, it's about nine o'clock. And mainly that's because I did not sleep good last night. It just rained so hard, it was so windy. I didn't sleep much. It was a good night though. It was very relaxing, very peaceful, but definitely not a good night for sleep, that's for sure. Carolina blue sky, everyone. It is a gorgeous morning. Temperature, 55 degrees. Slight breeze in the air. Everything is sopping wet. Every single step is just pushing up water. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty nasty, really. As you can see here, I'm making some cowboy coffee. I wish I remember what coffee I grabbed because, holy crap, that smells so incredibly good. Shit. <laughs> I totally missed that, everyone.
I probably should have taken this off of the stove first. I think you could see there that I'm still tired. I'm not quite awake yet, and that would be accurate. So what I did there exactly with the cold water, I put a little bit down the chute for the kettle and also dropped some in the center of the pot. That clears all the grounds from the spout and causes all the grounds to sink to the bottom. Now I can pour out the coffee with no issues. Not a single ground. Salt, a little pepper. Oh, yeah, looks good. Ah, oh, that smells good. Coffee's done. Breakfast done. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. That is perfect. It's incredibly smooth. Just the way I like it. For breakfast, cheesy eggs, bacon, a little bit of mayonnaise. That sparks the great debate, right? Mayonnaise or no mayonnaise? What about you? Comment down below. Six or seven years ago, we were having a dinner party at my house and Susie's friend, who I would consider like more like upscale than most. I don't remember exactly how the topic came up, but for some reason we were talking about mayonnaise. The husband and I were talking, Susie and her are talking, and then I hear her say, I hear this woman say, the foulest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I was like in another room and I remember like looking back like, what? <laughs> uh, okay. That's not what I expected. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a great storyteller, as you all can tell. Oh yeah, here we go. Folks, that is amazing. There's nothing easier than that. Nothing simpler. And yet, that is amazing. If you haven't gone car camping or truck camping before, I highly recommend it. It's the simplest, easiest thing, right? You just throw some gear in the back of your vehicle and you head off. It can be as simple or as luxurious as you want. It's a great way to get out, to relax, to be one with nature. You can think about your problems. You can think about issues in your life. I love it. It's a great way to just get away from it all. Even setting up this huge tarp wasn't much work. Setting up the back of the truck, super simple. Breakfast, coffee, easy, also delicious. As you've seen already, it is a beautiful morning. I decided to check the radar to see if it was going to rain and check this out. There is a line of storms coming this way. I am right over here. <laughs> that is so funny. It's moving fast, so... I actually need to wrap this up. I have maybe an hour. <laughs> the tent is 100% dry. I really am impressed with this tent and also the company. And let me tell you everyone, that was a lot of rain last night. I mean, it rained. We're talking maybe two, three inches of rain. There were point in times where it was just a river of water going down the road. Heck, it was a river of water going underneath that tarp. That's how hard it was raining. And look at the size of that tarp. 
Listen to that. Man, oh man. What a mess. What a mess. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. For this episode, that wraps it up. I'm going to begin breaking everything down. Drying this tarp out is such a chore because it's so big. <laughs> this not only takes time, but it takes a serious amount of space. Thank you so much for joining me for this trip. I do appreciate it big time. If you like this episode, hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. You can support The Outdoor Gear Review. You can do so on YouTube. You can do so on Patreon. You could join the Wolf Pack. We're a family, a community, and it's a lot of fun. I appreciate you all very, very much. Not only the supporters, but also the viewers. Everybody is awesome in their own way. I will see you on Sunday and Tuesday with my reviews, and I'll see you next Thursday with the next adventure. Hmm. What am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll come up with something. I like to mix it up. Every week is something a little bit different. More than likely, it will involve rain. That's how it works. <laughs> it doesn't seem like I can get away from the rain. That's okay. Luckily, I love it. There's nothing like being underneath the tarp, being in a tent when it's raining. It's the best. All right. Everyone, take care. Be well. Strength and honor. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.